Hello, how's everybody doing today? We got your second video of the day. You're welcome. Uh, I'm gonna call in a subject matter expert here. This is someone I work with a lot and someone I've had the fortune of working with their clients all the time. Being in insurance, one of the people I talk to the most is individuals buying a home. One of the most important people in the home buying process is a mortgage lender. So this is my friend Pat Holland with Embrace Home Loans. We're gonna sit down, I'm gonna ask him a few questions so that way you guys out there know what to expect, what to do, and how to go about the mortgage process. All right, Pat, how are you doing today? Good, thanks Gabriel for having me on today. Fantastic, I always like working with great people and I yeah. wanna get those great people in front of my people. Pat is phenomenal at what he does here with Embrace. He's been doing it a long time, but also something I noticed from my end, his team is phenomenal. When you work with a mortgage lender, you're not just working with that person you meet who signs your paperwork. You're working with their team who processes the loan and get everything together, and Pat's team is absolutely incredible. So Pat, right now, I know it's kind of a broad question, mm -hmm. but what should people know about the, the mortgage market right now? Well, shortage of homes. Okay. A um, lot of competition for every property that is coming on the market, and they're going really fast. Okay. And how do you work with your borrowers to put them at the front of the pack? Well, the, the, the first part is that pre-approval letter or even a loan commitment letter. Mm -hmm. So if I have a client that has been referred to me or even a past client that's even go, getting ready to buy their next home, we basically have their loan done before they start looking for that next house. Uh, proper, you know, taking the time to properly document any major changes they may have gone through over the past year or two. Um, where they are right now financially, uh, making sure that their job is still very stable, uh, making sure that the new house is going to fit their financial plan, and what they're going to do with their existing home if they're if they're you know, renting right now, well, it just goes away. If they're if they they own a home right now, are they going to sell it? Do they want to keep that home as part of their their portfolio for for long term wealth? We we go over a lot of things before we get ready. So, you know, people might think it's just, I know I have the money, I can afford X month, X amount a month. But what you do is really paint the whole picture and say, hey, this is a huge step and a huge transition. How do we make sure all the parts line up properly where it's yeah. not just about affording it, it's about getting it done correctly? Yep. Okay. So what is the one, the biggest, most frequent mistake you're seeing mortgage uh, or applicants make or people buying homes make today? Well, I, and I don't know how this is happening, but I'm seeing people write contracts before they've been pre-approved. <laughs> and then I get, hey Pat, I'm under contract, can you, can you work with me on this? I'm like, well, how, did you, how do you know that you're qualified for this? Well, I just did some online number crunching or I did, you know, I went online and I got this and they happen to be self-employed and it doesn't work because they write off so much of their stuff. So I, I, I try to avoid the oops because now you've put a earnest money, uh, earnest money deposit probably in jeopardy, and you've written a contract in the house that's a legally binding agreement, uh, unless you can somehow get out of it, whether it's um, you know, home inspection or rate on or, or whatever. But I, I cannot believe in this day and age that I'm seeing um, real estate professionals writing contracts or even accepting contracts when there's no financing uh, collateral to go with it. So that's that's what I see. And. and uh, guys and girls out there I can tell you that does happen a lot obviously insurance is involved in the closing process so I get a lot of people and I always ask them hey you know where are you in your process because uh, I want to know what I'm looking for and so many times when we put an offer and I say okay hey what's your mortgage information so I know who to contact oh we haven't gotten our mortgage yet we just put in an offer so Pat is very accurate on that and I can't tell you this to, the times that that works out is, is few and far between. So make sure you talk to a professional like Pat before you're putting those offers in. Even if it's your dream house, it's better to get everything in a row uh, than try to get out there, rush out, and then you don't get the house anyway, and now you might be out some money. Yeah. So lastly, Pat, what is something that a potential home buyer should know but often doesn't? Outside of obviously pre-approval and stuff, something they're surprised by in the process. Well, that's, that's actually a really good question because the – the, I, I work with just one part of the loan. Mm -hmm. I work with the borrower's qualifications, their income, and their assets. Do they qualify from a financial standpoint? But a, a lot of times they, they're going through either maybe a home inspection or maybe a radon, or they get the homeowner's documents and they don't like something that might be in these documents. And that sometimes can be surprising to them. Um, but the way I look at it is, Look at your surroundings. There are a lot of people that are living here. Um, evidently, you know, they've all had to go through it too. 
Um, but really letting the professionals guide you, whether it's the, the real estate professional when you're writing the contract, the mortgage lender who's trying to help you with the right loan or based on certain situations with them. That, but I, I really am chiming in on that home inspection these days, especially with some of the older properties. Um, a home that, I have one that just kind of fell through. A home was built in the 1950s and the, the, it, the house looks beautiful um, but then when the home inspector got there, there was some significant, the, the pipes were wrapped in asbestos. And well, that's a that's, problem. That's a problem. <laughs> and that's, and um, those are the types of things that you don't, until you really dig underneath the, maybe behind the drywall or in the attic or, or so on and so forth, it, it, it just make sure you let the professionals do their job so that you know you're buying a sound uh, property um, and, and at the end of the day, all I care about for my clients is, are they buying something that's going to make them happy for a long time? Uh, I know they're going to stick with me for a long time, whether it's this property or the next one. It's more, I just want to know at the end of the day, they didn't feel any pressure from me and they bought the right house. Absolutely. Pat brings up two really good points. One, you don't see the whole house in a walkthrough. You might see every room, you might see the garage, you might see the backyard, uh, but a home inspection is critical. And the real point here is that buying a home is a, is a team effort. It's yeah. the buyers, but it's also a mortgage lender, title person, home inspector, insurance, a realtor. And Pat's an integral part of that team. Because if any one of those team members drops the ball, you could lose the house, buy the wrong house, or not qualify for a house in the first place. So I'm gonna put Pat's information up at the end of this video. It's also gonna be in the description below. If you like the video and you're new to the channel, go ahead and give us a subscription. If you like the video, give us a like. And if you didn't, give us a thumbs down. I'll be sad, but I want honest feedback. All right, everybody, have a great day.